right? So, yeah, it was a command prompt. That's what uh, runs Tekken Bop. So, so far for Anna, I've gone through all this shit, right? The Chaos Judgment options. Oh, I thought that was back one plus two. That's just one plus two. Oops. Um, by the way, this is a lie. This is, you can input this as down three, three or down back three, three. Um, I forgot all about Hailstorm. I have not been using that string at all. That might have saved my ass against that guy a lot more from before. But uh, good players know how to deal with that string. Treading water, talked about that. I believe this is where I left off, right? Um, no, 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 I did these moves. Lucy Goosey! <laughs> there he is, 69. If that was you, good game, dude. I'm sorry for running after one match, but I said that was going to be my last match. But definitely good game. You fucked me up. In one match. Best of one. You would have been a Char Cup champion. So, um, I want to talk about this move right now again. I underappreciated this move last time. Now, I know that, like, somebody told me the old school Anna gimmick. The old Anna gimmick is that on block into this because it's negative nine, but it pushes back. So, if you try to come in with jabs. <laughs> so, if you're fighting against Anna, this is negative nine, but you see, th this is what I'm talking about, Sub Zero. Remember before where you asked if it's okay to press buttons at negative nine? Not in this situation. Unless uh, you block it with your back to the wall, maybe. You see this? All this space creative. Negative nine might as well be zero. Do not. I repeat. Do not press in this situation. Do not press. Don't press. Don't press if you block this. Um, this move is... Uh, if you've played Gigas, which I'm sure most of you have. You haven't. Uh, forward, forward, two. Similar application to this move. This is one of those moves where... When you knock people away at the end of a juggle, right? Like, um, with this, right? If you get like a, maybe not that, I haven't tested that, but let, let me try one more time. Maybe not. But certain knockbacks, if you uh, notice that people like to get up and press and you want to make them get up and stay still to block, you know, when they get up and not press and block, this is the kind of move that could do that for you. Another thing that this is good for, um, I was actually messing around with her online off stream. And one of the things I noticed is like there was a dude I ran into, I forget who he was playing, um, Miguel or something. He would always like, I don't even know if he did this knowingly for the matchup, was it something he always did? He would backdash and then duck and he would like stay ducking for a moment and then stand, right? It wasn't, you know, it wasn't because he thought anything was coming. That's just something that he was naturally doing, it seemed like. And it was a real pain in the ass because it would be out of range of shit like, you know, a lot of mids or I would, I would have to go mid high and he kept ducking under all that shit constantly. And I got the impression that it wasn't because he knows the matchup. It's just something that he was doing. He was ducking during blocking strings. And Anna, kind of like Nina, isn't really about mixing in lows and, uh, and mids in her strings, right? Think about this. That's like mid high, mid high, mid high, mid high, right? This jails, but that's mid-high, and then I could risk this, which is, like, okay, but not great. I wish this had counter-hit properties, to be honest with you. At least a free follow-up on counter-hit would, would have been nice for this, right? But whatever. Um, not much of a deterrent. So, when I noticed that, oh, like, every time he's under pressure, he would backdash and duck. I would do some shit like, oh, block this, and then throw that out right after. And it would just, bam, it would just nail him constantly, every fucking time with that shit. Like he's swimming sideways in midair, right? Ah, ah, right? That's really good for that, you know? And granted, against really good players, it loses its usefulness. It's still a great move, but it's not as useful against good players that know that, oh, you know, I shouldn't do stupid shit, right? <laughs> um, but against mid to low level players, this is fucking great. This is just a great tool. Even in the neutral, it's a great tool. Like, you're kind of sitting back here, and you're like, oh, this guy is, like, waiting for me to get close. Just throw that out. And if they block it, it's not a big deal. They could step it, but uh, it's it's a uh, forward-forward input. Remember that. So, I'll put sidewalk. Let's see. See? She could step it, but if you hold the second forward a little bit, that's not as much of a problem. 
that's why uh, it comes out delayed. So when you hear me say out loud, oh, I delayed it because I thought, you know, they would do like a sidestep or they would duck with a weird timing or they would delay their, it's their own attack, you know, you, that opens you up to getting counter hit too. So you got to keep that in mind when you're fighting against masters and shit like that. See, if, you know, running in someone's face like that, that opens you up to running into an attack. But, you know, if you notice that they're doing weird shit like this, right? They can open themselves up to that. Of course, you could take a bigger risk and go for forward, forward, three also. But, you know, that's negative 13 on block. That's her actual hop kick, I guess. But the input makes it, you know, awkward. I think it'll be tied. That was DLC from Tekken. You talking about the music? I think Julia is a safe bet. If you're worried about Julia right now, don't be. I'm, I'm, I be, I'm willing to put. I'm not much of a betting man, but I'm willing to put money on Julia popping up. So, don't worry about it. You'll be able to play as that annoying motherfucker soon enough. So anyway, yeah, I undervalued this move. Of course, it also wall splats. It knocks down. It wall splats. So just like Gigas forward forward two, treat it the same way. Gigas forward forward two got buffed in season two, but it was always a good move. Uh, to reiterate what I said the past two times, Chaos Judgment's mechanics are it auto low crushes, it auto hot kicks lows, but it follows the rules of uh, counters, the generic reversals, where low shoulders like Fang's core circle forward one, low uh, knees like like uh, like knock this is slide. Shit like that, it will, uh, it'll hit this. They'll hit this. So if Marduk were in the game and he had his old down four, which is a 14 frame below knee, it beats this. Um, so keep that in mind. But otherwise, she will auto crush lows with this hop kick, which you could do manually with up forward four out of that stance. The other thing that this stance does is it, it uh, auto reverses grabs. You cannot chicken the reversal that she does. So if you try to grab her in that stance, you get tossed on your ass. What I didn't test was, uh, what are the startup frames, right? Now, to test that, I got to find, uh, let's see, negative 10. All right, that's negative 12. Is there a negative 11 move for this character? All right, that's not going to be it. I think this used to be negative 11. Well, it's negative 12 now. Um... Negative 14 might work too, actually. So, is there a negative 14 frame move for this character? Hmm. Oh, wait, negative 11. Ha ha. All right. So, throws are 12 frames. So, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be on frame one. So, here's the thing I got to not do the transition. I got to do this and do it manually. All right? Okay. Ah, even the 15 frame throw. So I could be slow. As a matter of fact, I look slow doing that. So she's putting herself at negative 11, and my 16 is that 16? My 16 frame low lost. So the low crust starts in five frames or better. Now let's see. I don't have a 15 frame low unless I go into Chaos Judgment myself. So I cannot test that in this situation. We could test that with a 14 frame low. Now the throw seems like it might come out slower. The throw reversal, I mean. Julia? Well, I said earlier, I think Julia is a short bet. Nothing official, I don't have any insider knowledge or anything like that. But you know, I, I'm pretty confident in saying of those three slots, Julia is probably a short bet. Who I do not want to see is Jun. I would like to see Marduk or Armor King, both would be better. I don't want to see Jun. That didn't feel fast. Let me try it again. All right. 
Wow. That is a 14 frame low, right? That's a 14 frame low. That's wild. Right? And then a 12 frame low uh, beats it out. We, we saw that earlier. Yeah. I don't have a 13 frame low to test. But just to show you guys what I was talking about before, now that I got Feng. I don't think so. See? See? Doesn't matter. See? But if I try, uh, thanks for the follow, Maggie Cool. If I try uh, any other low. Oh boy, so we could verify at least three frames. My guess is frame two or three, because that's your standard like reversal thing. Uh, 15 frame grab though. Yeah, 15 frame grab. She beats out. She doesn't have a negative 10 move. So the throw window is definitely uh, smaller, shorter. That's probably 12 frames. Yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know any other situations to test this in. That's fine. So the point being the throw window is a lot later, so. You'll be relying a lot more on the low crush window than the throw window, I'll tell you that much. So, basically, this does technically low crush faster than hop kicks, because it is, like, we verified, what, three frames there, right? Hop kicks need nine frames to low crush, but it's not an attack, right? Yeah, is you pressing back here to go into stance. But it does low crush fast, a lot faster than hop kicks. Generic hop kicks, at least. You follow, you follow, follow what I'm saying right now. Does cat parry swords? Low swords, probably not, because low swords uh, cannot be low parried. So knock this is full crouch down forward two, knock this is down two. All that knock this shit is gonna hit you. It follows the rules. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Someone mentioned this last time, but this is hard to do. If uh, you look at the input commands, the arrows on the bottom right, what you, you see right now when I press back three and then there's a down forward arrow by itself and then down forward one plus two, if you make that one plus two um, input at the same time as the first down forward arrow, you will get this move out of that stance with better frame data. So this move is plus five on hits, no damage, plus one on block with pushback, and then on counter hit, it's plus 19, so you get shit like that. If you're uh, really sharp, you get a forward forward three, which is, yeah, there you go, see? That's guaranteed. And if there against the wall, you'll get way better shit too. So, uh, how much better is it? Well, let's see if I can get it. I'm bad at this. Basically, it's like an electric. It's like an electric. There it is. Plus 24 instead of plus 19. Now, does this really matter? No, but I think it's cool because it's 15, 16? Uh, the bot is lying about this. The bot says 11. It's actually 15 or 16. But the cool thing about this is when it gets blocked, right? It's plus six, so that's what's cool. And then our normal hit. It's plus ten. Now, I don't know if that's a true plus ten, but the only way you'll probably get anything off of it is at the wall. I should probably test that. Because with plus ten, if it's a true plus ten, not a plus ten G, um... You get 2-3, which allows you to go into Chaos Judgment at the wall, which is nice. Oh, this song. 
Every time this song comes on, I got turned. Oh, ooh, love this fucking song. All right. Nope. Let me try and mash it. Wow, that glitch is still there. Oh, yeah. For those of you that don't know about this. Uh, yes. Nope. That's guaranteed. If that hits you at the wall, I think. I forgot about that. Let me show you guys that real quick. I complete, I'm glad I did that by accident. To uh, remind myself of that shit. That's a move I have not been using much. Right? I'll try to duck after it hits me. Oh man, it's hard to just get hit normal hit. Because I have to hold forward. And the auto guard is going to be on. Oh man. Maybe not. So maybe the down forward 3 series is guaranteed. Down three, two, maybe? Nope. Mm. What the hell is guaranteed after that? Hop kick? Let me hop kick from back turn is. No, maybe not. I'm sure something's guaranteed. Back turn down one into wall standing one, two, three. You're probably right. Yeah, because she's back turned, so she can't. Uh, the only thing she could do is her generic jabs, which goes into that whole string. But it's not enough frame advantage to uh, be guaranteed. But anyway, um, I'm trying to see if I can get anything uh, for free, right? Yeah, no. So it's plus 10, but they can guard. I definitely mashed. I mean, I don't think I'm slow. I gotta keep my eye out for, um... Get good, Gar. Thanks for the follow. Gow, gow, gow. Gow, 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 gow. I don't even know if that's a reference to that, but that's what that reminds me of. An old mecha anime. This has four active frames. Oh, yeah. Another another reminder here. So, off of this knockdown, if you get that to knock down, you have a uh, Feng Wei style setup. You know how Feng Wei can end his juggles with forward 3-4, then he could dash and do 4 till the 3. And if you do anything except tech and block, it's uh, it hits you guaranteed. But if you tech and block... You block the later active frame, so he's plus like four. You got a similar setup here, not as good, but it's a similar setup. So let me try. You have to do it instantly. It's uh, usually zero on block. There it is, plus two. I typically get plus two or plus three. It's plus three at best. And you are pushed this far back, so it's not that big a deal. But in general, it's like a safe follow. It's a 100% safe follow to this for people who just don't know the matchup. And then they tend to get up and sometimes match, sometimes not. You might as well just do this every time until they respect it. You know what I'm saying? That'll get them to keep still. It should, theoretically, <laughs> get them to keep still. Um... If he stays down for some reason. See? 16 damage. 
Not bad. One, two, three, four. I don't appreciate this move, and for some reason, I keep forgetting this string exists. This is a counter hit, juggle string, and the second hit of this, a normal hit, gives her the launch guaranteed. It's a kind of difficult pickup, because you have to dash up and go right into that, which uh, is especially hard online, but hey, them's the breaks you're playing Anna. Thanks for the follow, Arctic Fox a lot. Maybe not. Maybe I should just do the, uh, the, uh, the, um, oh yeah, because this string takes away the, s yeah, that second knee takes away the 70%, so that starts the, uh, hit scaling, the knockback scaling during juggles, so you can't do that many hits. The reason Anna juggles do a lot is really because of that juggle energy. She actually needs it, otherwise her juggle damage is shit off of these weird, like, situations. Because she constantly has to pick up with down 4-1 and shit like that. Really shitty damage. Forward 2-3. There it is. Uh, so, uh, 65, 68 damage. That was a normal hit on a second hit. Okay, so there you go. Uh, 77, uh, 80 damage. If you got the counter hit on the first hit. Damn, it's good damage. Good damage. Plus 12. And this is uh, 13 frame high. And it's safe on block. So the idea is you got to sidestep the double knee. And you can delay the second hit. So there's a lot going on with this string. A lot. But if you stop at the second hit, it's negative 16. But they cannot punish the negative 16. Or most characters will have trouble punishing that 16 because of all this pushback on block. And uh, the double knee, I think, will interrupt most slower launchers. But you can interrupt it with, uh, what was it, jabs? Ha! Yeah, you exchange with 13 frames. So the actual way to punish this is to sidestep. Right? That does work. Got it. Got it. I gotta. Nope. Nope. God damn. Off axis. One, uh, two, four? Two, four. Two, four. Two, four. Let's try that. One, two, four. May I just do one, two, four? Wait, no, no. Do one, two to forward. Uh... Nope. My God. So one, two, four. That's the answer, right? Yeah, even if the two whiffs. As a matter of fact, better, I think, if the two whiffs, you probably get better damage. Man, that sucks. That kind of fucks with this move a lot, because you're going to hit it in those off-axis situations more often than not, I think. I don't know what to follow up with that would be any good on a side turn opponent like that. Alright. Down forward. Down forward. Three, four. Nope. Three, four. Damn, not even a standing two jab. Woo! And a baby. Alright, so uh, another recap thing here. Uh, Chaos Judgment. The ways to go into it with frame advantage are off of the generic down four. So this. So if you saw me before doing a lot of that, that's not a frame trap, but she's plus one. So what's up happening is... Uh, that's a frame trap, right? And the safe on block negative seven. That's a 12 frame mid counter hit launcher. That's negative 12, right? See? 
So you got that for people to try to slow shit, like a low crush or something like that, right? And then uh, that's 11 frames. And that on normal hit gives you the ass. It probably also gives you her rage uh, art. But it's a high. If you want to go mid outside of that, you have to be open up to being mashed on off of that setup at least. The other way to go uh, into uh, the stance with good frame advantage, the other ways, 2-3 back. Now, I forget how much this is. Um, I think it's plus 6. No, hold on a second. 17 frames. Okay. That's very plus. Yeah, she's beating on my crouch jab with a 17 frame mid, so that's very plus. It's probably plus 8 or 9, right? So that's like the best way on hit. Uh, the other thing is that move that's hitting me. No, that goes into crouching, sorry. Uh, so yeah, 2, 3 on hit. Best way to go to Chaos Judgment. In uh, most other uh, transitions, you're relying on the opponent being afraid to press. Like, even this on hit, that's uh, negative, you know? So, uh, what's the other one? That, I believe that was negative. I went over that last time. So, uh, that's another one. And, um... Uh, I didn't test this on here, I think. Okay. That is actually, uh, plus two. See where it's changing? So, that's plus two. On block, I'm sure it's really bad. Yeah, see, it's really bad. 2-3 uh, on block is also good because it's only negative 13. Oh, uh, sorry. See? Exchanging with my down forward one. So, that's not super bad. Although, you know, any down forward one will put an end to uh, this. Like, just any down forward one, it's just like, at the, the only thing you could do, you know, do about it is exchange with that. Because she cannot block mid and Chaos Judgment. And even though she can cancel Chaos Judgment into a cross dash, you press down forward, which does crush highs very quickly. Um, you cannot cancel her cross dash like you can with, I think, Nina and definitely Dragon Off. So, you have to commit to the full cross dash. Or Trooper Rose, negative on hit. On hit, it's a juggle starter, so there is no plus or negative on hit. On hit, you combo out of this. If you happen to go into Chaos Judgment, you kind of have to... Uh, you don't get anything, actually. Yeah, you don't get anything. Nothing, uh... So, yeah, her Trooper Row into Chaos Judgment is kind of shitty. Unless maybe you end a juggle with it. And you go right into it. Maybe that's all right. I don't know. That'll be up to you and, uh, actual Ana players to test. Can you combo if you go to cap from a counter hit course or go forward too? Good question. You probably can. Sure. You won't. You may not get a full combo though. I don't know what you would do to actually get a full combo. While standing. Up. Will that work? Nope. Um. I wonder. Good try, though. You could floor break with this string. Oops. Not that string. Wow, the, the down three whiffs, so maybe you can anyway. Um, what else does she have in that stance? Nothing that combos. Um, I 
Maybe the three? No, that shit whiffed. Yeah, forward two, three, after cat, down three, three. Let's see. Oh, good shit. There you go. Thank you, Nully boy. Does that mean she could do? No, she can't, because that's too far. Yeah. That takes the 70% scaling. One hit too many. So in any situation where you go right into a juggle, it's a cat down 3-3. Three, three. You could probably connect that. Short of any axis issues. Or maybe a Kuma or Panda might not because of short legs. That's pretty good. You can't do forward 3, right? I think that's better damage. No, it's the same damage. Okay. What is it? 14. Yeah, exactly the same damage on each hit. If the first hit of this was more front-loaded, I would say uh, that's better. But it's not. It's 1420. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, while standing four, I forgot all about that. So, her block punish is absolutely trash, right? We know this. But... 11 frames, you could go into a uh, standard generic while standing 4 for plus 5. Or you could go while standing 3, Chaos Judgment. Which is very plus. Once again, at least plus 8. Similar to... As a matter of fact, I think that's the same kick that she does in 2-3. So, similar situation here. So, you could force a Chaos Judgment mix-up if you punish with 11 frames while standing. Her trooper row is zero on block. Oh, yeah. I answered that already. Sorry. <laughs> right? I think you can get a forward 2-3 after the first hit whiffs of forward forward 3. Yeah, probably. Because you wouldn't be getting the 70%. That makes total sense. Actually, maybe not. There it is. That's what has to happen. You see how she only got hit by one hit? It would work there. See? Alright. Is it just me or does Nina have a better version of Core Circle Forward 1 now? I think Nina's is more plus. Oh, this has five active frames. I hadn't realized. By the way, since you can cancel into Chaos Judgment, you can make this on hit into that a frame trap. You have to input it as like down forward tilde one. See? Frame trap. Oh, it's a high, though. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a frame trap. This is good luck doing that online in the clutch, you know? All right. So, um, we talked about the wild crouching stuff, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, to recap, you have a just frame version of her full crouch down forward two, which I just did there. That's why it did 21 damage. The difference is she recovers standing instead of crouching. Therefore, you cannot do the reliable pickup. The down forward four one, you cannot do that if you're standing. So the only reliable thing you can pretty much do is just like a string, like a down three four one. Which would floor break. That's what I would do from now on. Unless there's people find some really consistent combo. Because uh, the thing about this is, is it, uh, the uh, trust frame version has a lot more range. Right? See? A lot more range. So, you're not going to get the down four pickup. Unless it's a big character, probably. You're not going to get it. If this were tag two, you'd be able to do this. It's a that, and then tag out. Because Tag 2 did have that just frame ship. Maybe if you're up close? Yeah, if you're right point blank. You have to be like 
really close. Oh yeah, you can do it. It's a little difficult, but... And if you get good at it, oof, 60, 69 damage for that. But the range is going to fuck you up. So keep that in mind. You got to delay it a bit. Yeah, see? It's not going to happen unless you're up close. But if you do the full cross down forward too regularly, it's a lot easier. But you lose out on like a lot of damage. So if you're on the floor break stage, by all means, always do this. Out of the uh, just frame version or whatever you want to call that. Alright, so we got that. All right, let's talk about her sidestep moves. This is a little loud. Uh, I'm not sure if I did this last time, so I'm going to talk about it again. Sidestep 2. This is basically her only unique low poke. Unique. Not generic like that and that. Her only unique low poke that is not absolute death on block. Uh, despite appearances, it is not a very good low crush. I've tried many times, believe me. Once upon a time in the older games, this was a counter hit jungle starter. Now it does nothing on counter hit. It's always zero on hit. It's always negative 12 on block. And it's always slow at 20 frames. I wish they at least gave it a counter hit knockdown. I wish. I wish that was a little bit taller. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't, and they made the damage shit. So this low sucks. I wish a couple of things. It doesn't have to have all these things. Number one, make it a good low crush. Uh, sorry, a good high crush. Right? If it's exactly like this, but also a good high crush, I'd be okay with that. It would have some use. It doesn't have that. Number two, another thing you could do it. A counter hit knockdown for with a free stomp. Doesn't have to be a juggle, just a free stomp. They could have done that. You know, like this. Give me something like that. Which would floor break for a full juggle. I've been bad about doing that. But anyway. Um, yeah. Then none of that. Another thing that I wish they could have done is make it like plus two on hit. So I, I could at least threaten with a while standing four. Without being interrupted. with By anything. They couldn't even do that. It has to be zero. So basically, your only way to truly threaten after this. Uh, to get the, If they're mashing on you, to get them to stop mashing. Is to go into full crouch forward two, the armor move that's negative 14 on block. No bueno, no bueno. Um, also, this move only tracks to one side. Tall go 420. Thanks for the follow. I believe this only tracks to her uh, left side. <clears throat> I got to record it on myself. Yeah, so it only tracks to, um, naturally, it only tracks to her left side. So if you want to make this basically, like, unsidesteppable, you have to go to your right. Otherwise, this is what happens. I'll get it, I'll get it. I'll get it. There it is. And her sidestep, by the way, is below average. Okay, I have to sidewalk, it looks like. I thought I was sidestepping it last time. But whatever, you can sidewalk it. But if you go... Oh, never mind. But it won't it'll always catch that direction. 
<laughs> Oops. Yeah, I delayed it a bit there. Which sucks, because it's already a slow move. So if you want to make it... Oh, man, even then. In the heat of the match, though, you're, you're more likely to catch people stepping, I think. Unless they're sharp and really good. But even then, it's like... This is some fucking 12 damage low. You know, it ain't... It's not enough of a threat. It's just not. So, it's whatever. <clears throat> Alright, side step three. This is the juice right here. This is a great low. I mean, a great mid, sorry. Great side step move. She has two fantastic side step mids. Now, this is pretty slow. Uh, three active frames, plus eight on hit, plus four on block. Forces crouch. Pretty sure. Yes, forces crouch on block. You know, counter hit and knocks down like, just like that, and you get a free follow up. For damage, uh, you're close enough to probably get the clean hit on this. So that's probably the most damaging follow for sure. You need the clean hit to get that sort of damage off of that, though. That's down back people's four, by the way. Otherwise, you could do this, which is probably one of the more consistent ones unless you're in a weird access or weird range. You might not get... You really have to get the second hit on that one to get the good damage because the first hit is only, like, four damage. That second hit is 12 every time, though. And that does break the floor if the second hit connects, not the first. The first doesn't do shit. Uh, otherwise, that's your other go-to right there for damage. All right. Um, there was another thing. Uh, what was the other knock? That was a knockdown that, uh, oh, yeah, her slaps. I forgot to mention this. If you troop a row right after you, they, uh, you recover from it and they try to get up, it's a juggle. Which I was trying to do, I fucked it up a couple of times when I played earlier, but basically you have to eat that shit. And you have to input it instantly, because if you fuck up, you're going to jump over their body, or they're going to get up and it's going to whiff. Shit like that's going to happen. You have to instantly do it. Instantly. There's another knockdown that does that. I can't remember at the moment. Just wanted to remind you guys of that, too. <clears throat> so anyway... Her sidestep stomp is also a good uh, post knockdown move. So this is good. It's a good Oki move. In the neutral, it's decent. It's on the slow side now. So if people are gonna start sidestepping into 13 frame buttons, it's not the best. It's not really gonna do a great job of stopping that. So keep that in mind. All right, this is the cheap shit. So you know, you guys saw this earlier. Negative four on block, so you could do it back to back. And if they don't do a tracking move, it's like, you know, they're going to get launched. Uh, unfortunately, I'm having, you know, I have trouble finding anything really good when you're, when you connect this really off axis, which is going to happen often with this. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. One, two, four into some bullshit, right? Maybe a three hit string. Maybe a down forward one. Uh, sorry, down forward three, one, four, I guess, right? If you want to keep it simple, get some wall carry. Not even. Not even. Well, whatever. <laughs> Let me just do that into this. Better than nothing for a safe on mid. Safe on block mid. Uh, normal hit launcher safe on mid safe on block bin normal hit launcher say that five times fast all right uh, One of the one of the other really big weaknesses especially with the two of them back to back is It's very back dashable Easy whiff punch if you're ready for it, too See now, you know people aren't just gonna do one back dash like that Because the first one is going to be blocked probably while they're moving back. Yeah. 
So if you if they block the first one point blank, then the second one is better. Oh, not even. This could be a good test for your backdash canceling. If you block the first one point blank. Right? So keep that in mind, but if people always retaliate button with buttons like that fucking Kazumi player, how many times did this happen? How many times? And with the only time I the only times I got hit were when I fucked up. And the guy never stopped doing it no matter how many times I punished it. Never stopped. You can read the autopilot from a mile away. Dial forward one, weak to sidestep right, right? Dex true looks, thanks for the follow. How many times did that happen, huh? How many times? See how easy this shit is offline? I all right, I fucked up there. See how easy this shit is to do offline? See how easy? So easy to do offline. And then this would whiff. So I had to figure out what to do. Perfect situation where... Yeah, perfect situation where my combo kept fucking up. I should just do that. Just do that. So yeah, really good at that kind of stuff because Anna doesn't have the uh, traditional sidestep into like a fast mid, other than down forward one two, she doesn't have like a twin pistons or some shit like that. But if you sidestep and commit to that move, which is already safe on block, you could blow people up, but that opens you up to uh, homing moves, especially faster ones. Now Kazumi's fast homing move is fucking trash, so who cares? But you know, if you're fighting, let's say, Geese. If you're fighting, let's say, uh, Hearst is pretty slow, right? Elisa, Eliza, right? Who else has some dangerous fast homie moves? Jin, especially in the, after the buffs. Claudio. Steve, down forward two and back one. Back one is not an official homie move, but it tracks like one. Right? Any of these characters are very dangerous homie moves that are fast. You gotta be real careful with that fucking move. But Kazumi, back to, I'm going 4-4? Four, four? Yo, fuck about that shit, get out of here. I welcome it, go ahead. All you want, hit me. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, pause, back 1-2, but pause isn't as dangerous, especially after the nerf. It's still very good, but... It's just a uh, spin now into a mix-up. It doesn't give that bullshit knockdown. You know the knockdown I'm talking about. This, that knockdown... That should never have had that knockdown in the first place. So yeah, very good move. Uh, heel grind. So the only thing you guys got to know about this. Right. So the only thing you guys got to know about this is you have to be on axis for it to become like a hit throw where she grinds her heel. Like that. And that does extra damage. See, 16. How about can I get a... Well, I'm actually having trouble finding a way to... What's the best way to do it? Certain knockdowns, right? Let's see. Stand up. Alright, what was it? This, uh... There you go. Perfect example. 14 damage, but you if you sidestep... 16 damage. So it's only two more damage. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it's kind of whatever. Uh, I don't know how negative it is on block. How I attest this.
I it whips. I can't really test this. This is part three. One and two are up on the um, Kenny Duck Block heel gu heel guide. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can, Chad. But um, oh no, that was not Chad. That was Sub Zero. But I can't find the timing here to see how bad it is on block. Um, what's another launch I could try? There it is. Negative 17. Negative 17 on block. Negative 6 on hit. Not a not a particularly good one. Not quite Dragon off Stomp. I think Kazuya Stomp is a good one too. But yeah, there's that move. Uh, how often do balance chains tend to come out for this game? There's only been one, which has been unusual for this series. Historically, Tekken as a series, right? It comes out in arcades first, in Japan and Korea, right? And uh, they'll play it for a while, like a year or so. This is this is ever since DR, because what, what ended up happening was Tekken 5, at the time, was the most popular one. It was the one that got me into it. I started going to Chinatown Fair, or this is where I would see guys like way better obviously way better than me and still are people like realist blood hawk exalted gm was later sparrowgen brian h names that you've seen uh liquid you've seen at least some locals Re reno came later so 5.0 came out in arcades we actually got it early in chance out fair right we got it pretty early it was fucking awesome but 5.0 was a very fucking broken game so what happened was, all right, 5.0 came out on console super fast. I don't know how fast, but it was only like a few months. That pissed off arcade owners in Japan. So they were like, fuck, we got to do something about this. They made DR, Dark Resurrection. And um, that we didn't get on console until like years later. I think I'm going to say it was like a year and a half later. We got it on uh, PS3 as a, as a direct download, uh, digital download, whatever. And then they released the PSP version. Uh, PSP, by the by, best pad for Tekken ever, in my opinion, after you break it in. I was able to light dash on that thing. So, because of that, the trend afterwards became Tekken 6 came out, hit up arcades, super, super long time in arcades, right? And then, without releasing it on console, it was 6.0, got a couple of small balance patches while in the arcades. Then they released Bloodline Rebellion, BR. And when we got it on console, it was just called Tekken 6, but it was Bloodline Rebellion. Bloodline Rebellion added um, Lars and Elisa. They were not in the original 6.0. 6.0 was fucked up. 6.0, Bob's down forward 2. Normal hit launcher. Normal hit launcher for Bob's down forward 2. It was like a Nina or a Lei or a Law or a Paul down forward 2, except way more range and way better high crush. And, you know, just way better overall. Bob was fucking he was already fucked up after the fact so yeah br a uh, big expansion pack two more characters just like dr added two characters dr was lily and armor king um and then same thing happened with tekken tag 2 tekken tag 2 arcade then they released the tekken tag 2 uh unlimited i think they called it yeah unlimited right and then unlimited happened a you know it uh original tekken tag 2 allowed for really fucked up setups for example me during tournament, you could look look up old Tekken Crash videos, I think. He would do a bound, do the Tag Assault, then do a, uh, the Tag Assault filler to be Huarang's uh, kick into the unblockable. He would do like a kick and go right into the unblockable. And in that version of the game, when he did that, after he inputs the unblockable, he would let go and he would get control of his other character back. His other character, point character, will jump over to their back so they get up, turn around, they get hit by the unblockable, and then he continues to juggle them. Super fucked up. Super, super fucked up, right? So, 
they took that away in Unlimited, and that's the version that we basically got on console. And then they added some console-specific characters back when it costed a shitload of money to actually put out balance patches and shit. So they were only able to do, like, two patches, and they couldn't afford to do more with Tekken Tag 2. Tag 2 sucked anyway, but whatever. They added, like, uh, that's how we got shit like Kunimitsu ducking mids. There's a video you can find on YouTube where she's just ducking, and, like, uh, King's down forward one and down forward two going right through her and shit. Forward four going right through. She's just ducking like whatever, right? <laughs> Not even a stance. Um, really fucked up shit. Uh, Ancient Ogre, the infinite kicks with Lee while standing 3-3 into the mid-high over and over again. If their back was to the wall, it was an infinite combo. <laughs> they would just keep kicking them in the face until they died. That kind of stuff, right? So um, they released one balance patch after that, and that's all they did for Tag 2. And then this game came out. Everybody knows 7.0 was trash. Sidesteps were, like, non-existent. Um, it was uh, barely, uh, it was like Tekken 6.5. It was like barely an upgrade for Tekken 6. And then Bloodline, Bloodline Rebellion? No, sorry. Uh, Faded Retribution. There's always a something with an R, uh, except for Tag 2. Faded Retribution came on arcade for about a year, and then we got that version on console and PC as Tekken 7. There's your history lesson. 6.0 Kazuya was also really fucked up. And Jack. Zack had some sort of really fucked up wall combo in 6.0. Marduk's up forward uh, 3. No, sorry. Marduk's core circle forward 2. That new load that they gave him, Tekken 6, 6.0. That shit knocked down on counter hit. I think the knee was better on block. Yeah. A lot of characters had some really uh, weird shit in 6.0. So, yeah. Basically, the arcade players usually beta test second. That's why no matter how much people complain about us, take, uh, us getting the game so late... Part of the reason why we've been getting, like, consistently, relatively well-balanced Tekken games since DR is because of that. They beta tested with the best players in the world, typically, in, um, in arcades first. Although, you know, other regions are starting to catch up. Alright, what do we got going on with her 10 hit? That looks bad, because you could just duck the uh, kick in the end. What? That's not what I did. Oh, what's three? Negative 25, negative 19. Garbage. Is there any lows? So if you see that left kick, you know you can low parry. Otherwise, you could just duck. You could just duck after the triple row, right? No, no, after the second hit. All right, triple row, mid, and then duck. The back slap. Yeah. So that's all you got to look out for. And then this goes to Chaos Judgment, I'm sure. And I'm sure that, yeah, <laughs> negative 10 on hit? Nah, I don't think so. Why bother? All right, cruel punishment. Let's look at throw key. <laughs> Classic. Kick him in the nads. So what's the recovery on this look like? Bad, very bad recovery. So it, you could bait whiffs. With a back dash. But the problem is... Why does I stand still? Okay, stand still. Stand still is the thing to do. Let's see. If you think, like, wake-up kicks are coming. Oh, God, Anna. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God, Anna. What are you doing to me? Man, I am not an Anna main, so I don't have to deal with this shit range. At the very least, that's pretty consistent. You have to step forward after, right after the whiff. I don't like that. But it's there if you're sharp. Uh, otherwise, you don't really get any Oki here. I wouldn't follow this up. I would, I would kind of let him up, honestly. And since this is so negative... Oh, wait. No, not that negative. Not that negative. So what is this? This is in front of her, right? 
No, you switch sides. All right, well, here's what's important. Switch sides on success. And on break, we had to go to the walls. PSP was a great console. You can emulate it pretty well. And it would be legal if you owned the game. <laughs> PSP, if you guys are fans of, like, especially Japanese games. Vita also, honestly. If you guys are fans of Japanese games, you guys gotta hit up that library. It also has the best version of, um, Symphony of the Night. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Because it has the Saturn stuff that the PS1 version didn't have. <clears throat> But you have to unlock it in the uh, remake of Rondo of Blood, which also has the original Rondo of Blood in it. All right. So, yes, switch the sides on break. <coughs> Excuse me. And on success. Good shit. Very good, very good. The spacing isn't great, though. I'm trying to down three, but her recovery is awkward. I'm sidestepping when I'm mashing down three. Down three might be guaranteed here. Down three... Might be guaranteed. No, that doesn't look guaranteed. Let me try that again. I was holding down. Okay, yeah, no, it's not. Just have a faster low that hits grounded. Down three and down four, four are um, whatever, are uh, <laughs> fuck, are uh, sixteen frames. Imagine if an updated hardware version came out. We had never heard of the old one. I feel like that would blow up. You talk about the Vita? Nah. Yo, so when I was like 10 or some shit, I had a PSP. One day I decided to check for an update. The display read, do not turn off PSP while applying update. And I turned, well, you were 10. When I was 10, uh, well, maybe not 10, but I, when I was around that age, I pulled out a cartridge while I was saving without realizing it. Uh, uh, my friend's Chrono Trigger, first time I ever saw it, he brought it over. For the Super Nintendo. And uh, he had to go, right? His mom was, like, calling him to go, right? Because his mom was visiting, and his mom and my mom were friends. So she was like, all right, time to go. And then uh, in the rush, I pull, I uh, hit the eject button while I was saving. And I get, I was, like, going to give it to him. And he was like, you could borrow it. And I borrowed it. And then I realized I didn't really know what save data was. But I learned it throughout that game. And I'm like, wait a second. Why does everything say new game and there's no save? And then when I gave it back to him, uh, needless to say, he wasn't very happy. I mean, he forgave me eventually, but, you know. <laughs> All right, so a down three is not guaranteed, but it'll beat out any uh, any wake-up kicks. Uh... She doesn't have any mids that hit grounded. I wish she did. She's missing a lot of shit that characters got in this game. I feel like they rushed her, honestly. They made some weird choices with her, and if you, if she kind of feels rushed to me. It feels like they put more work into Lay's, making Lay's moveset work in this game rather than Anna's. Feels weird. Doesn't feel right. Right? Like, how many characters, even especially after Season 2, 
How many characters got shit that hit people off the ground, mids, that send them flipping off the floor? Anna doesn't have that, does she? It's kind of weird. Alright, uh, we're gonna do wake up mid kick. So this is gonna work. Yeah, that's obvious. Oh, wow. There it is. That's like a frame tight. Really frame tight to interrupt anything that they do. Yeah, I don't like that. It's good for switching sides, but otherwise... And what happens if you stand? Okay. In this case, they're a little closer, so you can't just stand. You have to hold back. Yeah, you don't have to backdash, but hold back after this. If you successfully get this... Right? I still don't know what her best wall combo is. That's what I've been doing, because I don't know any better. Alright. And, uh... <sighs> it has to be... Off, right? I don't know if that's going to be as fast as possible, but let's find out. Alright, so it's a spacing game when you break it. Yeah. So, if your back is to the wall and they break it, you could kind of, um... You can kind of just stand there and let them whiff. The spacing is definitely in your favor. Actually, let me test one thing. This is going to be hard to do because I have to, like, mash it out. Let's see if it comes out. Oh, the range is not good enough. All right, so, yeah, you got to just play the spacing game. You can't really threaten. You could try if you if your hopes are sure they're not going to swing. You could come, come in with this, with this, but it is a high. But it's plus uh, six or whatever, so you are do you are doing that at a risk, though. So be careful. Ah, oh boy, oh boy. All right, that's that throw. Once upon a time, she was able to juggle with this grab. I think this is a, a 5.0 thing. I think. But there's combo videos that show her picking up after this throw. I don't know how the fuck they did it. Character specific. She recovered fast enough, I guess, to like kick them in the knee while they were in that direction. But she totally was able to. Really fucked up shit, right? Ooh, even worse. Okay. It exchanges. This shit hit grounded. It's unsafe on block, so why not? So I don't think you switch sides here, but the camera turns around.
Now, you don't suicide completely, but you do. See? And when you're in this situation, what is it? No, not that. When you're in this situation, when the wall's to your right, you get a combo. With 4 4 2. So keep that in mind. Um. But once again, like, it's a similar um, recovery situation after successful throw, so the Oki isn't that great. I suppose down three would be a free whiff if they held back to get up, but, you know. And it is pretty bad on block, but they'd be blocking it at the tip. So depending on the matchup, down three follow-up might not be the worst thing, assuming you're not slow. Spacing, they can stand straight up, right? That was slow. They sure can. So never mind. Down three isn't great at all. If it was a character that didn't have shitty whiff punishment. Oh my god. So yeah, never mind that. Never mind what I said. What about off of the other throw? Nah. If you could get into a situation where if they were to block that for standing, standing straight up, they would have to block that, and it would be at the tip. That's a great situation. Depending on the matchup, once again. Because, yes, that's like negative 17 on block, but the spacing, and there's some pushback when it gets blocked. All that stuff. Oh, this was Dragonoff's theme in DR. Oh, yeah, Dragonoff was a new character in DR also. It was Lily, Dragonoff, and Armor King. Forgot about that. A little bit of pushback on this. For example, if you're fighting Anna, she would be unable to punish this outside of maybe a while standing four or something. Alright, um Next we got side throw. Bruce? Ungbach? Oh boy, I usually don't do this for side throws because they're so rare. Nice, alright. That's a good situation to be in. So they have to get up to uh, block your shit. Back throw. Oh, that hit him in the side. That might be guaranteed. See, guard all. That might be guaranteed. All right, let's see. That was um, that was Lester, right? 
Yes, that's left side. No, that's right side throw. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, what am I doing? What are you doing? What? What happened to that recording? That was slow. I'm always bad at these, like, these moves that recover super slow, doing things at the first frame. Wow, she didn't switch sides. Okay. I don't know what happened. You just have to hold down back. So I guess it's not guaranteed. But it's definitely uh, a trap if you wake up kick. Right? Yep. And it hits you if you stay grounded. Yeah, the angle. You definitely can't side roll that. So you got some high risk Oki there. <laughs> Cause that shit is so bad on block. Now this obviously doesn't have any Oki. Right? Uh, it does 20 plus something else. That's a show, right? Yeah, 30 plus 20 if you don't tech. If you tech, I think it does 30 plus 10. But this is show up as a combo, so it's hard to like... See? See? Damn, it doesn't... Oh, I have to look at the right side. Oh, it only does 30 if you, if you tech. There it is. It only does the initial 30 if you tech. It does 20 more damage if you don't tech. Yeesh. And if you break it... Switch sides. So, two side switch throws. Not bad. So, the thing about this is... Uh, when the opponent's back is to the wall, they can't tech it, obviously. So, you get that extra damage. And then some, I think. Because the wall adds a little more. Maybe one more. Yeah, well, uh, straight up 40 damage, so it ain't the 50, I guess, that you get otherwise, but it's more than 30. Uh, once upon a time, this throw, when he pumps back to the wall, was unsafe. They would get a guaranteed wake-up kick on you. Now... Uh, I don't know if you had an advantage. It seems to be about even. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, you can tech. But if you tech, she's at advantage. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's definitely at advantage. So we gotta worry about that. What's up, Hisatsu? 
What happens if I, uh... I was trying to, uh, spring kick, but since I'm in a techable situation, it doesn't quite work that way. Alright, so she's definitely at advantage. Maybe not a huge one unless you tech. Then she has, like, more frames to work with. Like, a sidestep three could be pretty threatening in those situations, but, um... Yeah. That's what I would do after that. I'd probably do a sidestep three. Now, they might be able to press. That's a little on the slow side, so they might be able to press. I don't know if they'll beat it out. There's one more thing I could do. Yep, beats out armor too. Very good, very nice. And if they stay grounded, it'll hit them. Yes, great option. All right, cool. And if they get up and block, it's negative uh, four for them, plus four for you. <sighs> I wish I had Yoshi emotes. You can. You just got to get uh, affiliated. All right, elbow smash. This is a really good throw. It's a pain in the ass, though. In the heat of the match, I fuck up doing it. But uh, this is a true one, one break throw. Sorry, no, it's one plus two break. She reaches for both. But that for that forward one. This, I believe, gives a good okie. And it breaks the floor for juggles. But you're, uh, you are at a weird angle, or your opponent's at a weird angle, at least. So I don't know what the optimal combo is. I don't know if you could do the usual shit. Alright. Um, I got reset plus... Uh, Gimmicks, okay. Yeah, you're at the head. pretty much a wall carry for 66 damage not bad and very easy you shouldn't be dropping that dot forward one two four of course they're going forward two one i uh i don't know what the optimal shit would be to be honest with you that angle is so weird and i don't know this character enough to tell you guys that i'm sure if you look up a combo video somebody has some fancy shit all right let's see what the okie is for this throw uh, Anna and Nina both have this grab. Same input. And historical evidence, oh, this is always given good Oki. Okay. Oh my god. See? I have trouble. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with this input. That was slow. Why am I double tapping down forward for the low? Alright, that looked okay. It looked a little slow, but... So I definitely could block it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, 
Alright, so I can side roll in one direction. I could block it. Alright, down three is better. Just a little block it. Can't low period, obviously. You have to low block it. Still loses. Yeah, it loses. Hmm. Clean. Very good. Very nice. That's what I like to fucking see right there. Alright, now that sucks, but you won't get launched for it. And if they block it, you're only negative five. That's good shit. What's going on, Coviello the Scrub? Oh, another one of my favorites. Attack reversal. Um, what's negative nine? What's negative eight? We got negative A anywhere? Negative nine. Negative eight. Um, that might be good enough, let's see. Never mind. I uh, can't reach. What was negative nine? That's negative one. I thought it was plus. still works. Alright. Hmm. That sucks. Frame 4? Frame 4, huh? Maybe I was slow. That is negative 11, right? Wait, what? Oh, that's an elbow! I thought that was a slap! Oh! Okay, frame three. Standard. Okay, that's a standard. That's an elbow. Forward two. Ooh, good to know. Get fucked, Asuka. Uh -uh. I really thought that was her slapping and then doing the kick. She's like doing a fucking straight up Muay Thai elbow. Mm. Alright. Cool. So yeah, frame three on her reversal. Standard shit. Standard procedure. What? 
chicken. Chicken. So it's just a generic counter. What did she do when she reversed it, actually? I forgot. I wonder what kind of Oki that gives. Let's just mash down three afterwards. to make it with but if you hold down back if you hold down back that hit me in the ass right if you try to hold down back oh that means the down down three two is gonna launch you so hold back after that for sure she's not really gonna chase you down with any lows Hold back. Don't hold down back. Alright. Chin bash. Multi-part. And then we're done. Okay. During chin bash, two options. Is that the end of my playlist? That is the end of my playlist. Let's see here. Open playlists, VGM. Oh, all right. <clears throat> what the hell? Game froze. All right, uh, what was I gonna test? Oh yeah. Okay, so sequence one, chin bash by itself into arm snap. That will uh, either be a one plus two or a two break, let's see. So, beginning sequence, oh, it breaks the rules. Hold on, no it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't break the rules. That is a legitimate two break, even though it's a core circle forward one plus two. That's a legitimate two break. So she has a legitimate two break, but not a legitimate one break. All right, let's see the second part of throw. One plus two. Oh, she's like Nina, where you're breaking the multi-part. She takes damage. You're like, <laughs> five damage. Um, so this arm snap, one plus two break. This is probably gonna be one break. Yep, that's a one break. Let's try two. Alright, you have to guess between 1 and 1 plus 2, not 2. That's fucked up. You would think it's between 1 and 2. Alright. So if she gets uh, arm snap. Oh, if she gets arm snap, it ends. So the more rewarding one is the 1 break one. Right? Oh, wait, we have another option here. Alright, we have another option. Falcon wing squeeze. All right, so she goes to the reverse arm lock. This is the one break sequence. Oh, punched her right in the kidney. Oh, one plus two works also. So one and one plus two punches her in the kidney during that. So these are all one plus two break, it looks like. Probably, right? Just different enders. But there's no mix up here, it looks like. Is there? Oh, I take that back. 
That's a two break. Yeah, okay. That's strictly a two break. So we got the first one was a one or one plus two break. That's a two break. One plus two. Yeah. Okay, strictly one plus two on that one. I wonder if the other one was not one plus two. I was just mashing it improperly. All right, so after chin bashing this or grab, we got this one. This might be the actual two break. Yep. Yep, that's the two break. So you do have to guess. Off of the two break, we got two guesses here. That's a two break. I just love it. It's like, get off of me, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a two break. All right. Uh, so that should be a one break. So it's a 50 50 if she gets the initial two break. Correct. Oops. So after the initial throw, ugh, disarm her. After that looks like it has good Oki too. So after the initial throw, it's a three-way guess. And then if she succeeds on that one, then it's a two-way guess. No, sorry. It's a two-way guess if she gets the initial two-break one, the arm lock. Then it's a two-way, 50-50. But if she gets the um, reverse arm lock, then it's a three-way guess. Again. So you have to recognize the reverse arm lock animation. That. Which, let's be real, none of us are going to remember this shit. Uh, is that plus three after the break legit? Uh, probably not. Actually, it might be. That's typically the, how it is after these uh, breaks. Right? Cause then it's gonna be like Yeah. Uh do I have a twelve frame move? Cross jab. Uh, I do. Right, of course. Wow, spacing. There it is. It is. Wow. Tekken by on point on that one. Negative two on break. You're at plus two when you break that throw. Interesting. I never even thought to look at that. The other two throws leave you too far apart to really... Oh, what about the elbow smash on break? Even. Even. It is a generic throw break, so... Animation. See, I can't do this to save my life, man. This this throw. I, I hate this throw input. Give me a hitbox already. No, it's showing the plus five from this. Yeah, it doesn't know what to. It doesn't know. But you are far apart, so it's like hard to test.
Yeah, I mean, I'm beating it. I don't know how fast I'm doing. I'm mass, but 16 frames is beating out 14 frames. <sighs> oh, man. I'm going to have to remember inputting all this shit to test the Oki. Ugh. That's too far away. But you can tell already, based on Anna, the low she has to rely on, that's far away. She might have something, but... This might be good. This is a toss, so uh, no okay here, I think. Yeah, too far. So let's look at this one. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, I gotta do this a few times to remember it. I'm gonna test it with up four three plus four. I'm not gonna get much beyond that though. they hold back. Oh! That looks good. Let's hold back. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's hold down back. That was down apparently, not down back. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Man. Wonder if she gets anything for free if she hits you in the back. Probably not, right? Because they're too far for you to down forward one. This is this is the kind of thing where I would need a second player to like really test. Because you got to test that specific situation, then getting hit in that way, and then trying stuff. Like going through a full-on recording. Because I have to mass the down forward four. I can't time, you know, perfectly time the down forward four hitting and then doing other stuff. And the recording, I can't do it. 
You know, at least not in a way to like guarantee, you know, to ensure that the setup will work. I, I would need uh, somebody with me in training mode. But that Dot Ford Ford, I think it's safe to say that's pretty dang guaranteed. After the falling arm break. Alright, that's worth looking into. Oh my god. I hate this input. Wow, this is, this is crazy. Nah, that doesn't look guaranteed. Let's try again. Ha. Ah, the camera fucking ah. cameraman. She gets up there though. Oh uh, yeah, that does not look guaranteed. For sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we know the situation there. <sighs> okay, the other one. Ah, come on! Give it to me. Let's go. Man, that's a lot of damage. But you were, you were able to see that she was able to get up, so you can be pretty sure that the Oki isn't great off of this either. <sighs> I'm also recording mid wake up kick to see if up 4 3 plus 4 at least beats that. loses or if that exchange is like that then there's not much to look at because the, the idea is you want to be able to do that instantly without really any fear of like getting punished for it you know like make it so they have to block it and that's all that they could do otherwise it's like 
It's not great. So the only one that's like really, really, really good. I mean, they're all. I mean, Chainsaws are good, you know, for the most part, except for the fact that she takes damage when you break it. But uh, getting the free down forward four off of what was it, falling arm break? That's pretty good. Because then the cool thing about that kind of situation is, if the opponent doesn't know, they try to match wake up kicks. You still get a counter hit. <laughs> And you may even get more guarantee, like I said, because that's a force crotch plus uh, plus five. Maybe not. You might get the ass, maybe guaranteed at best, because the spacing isn't great. Or you might get nothing guaranteed. This is how it goes sometimes. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I haven't really like looked at the looked at a wall combos. Let's see, primary wall splats, the range on that. Good range on down forward three, four. Uh, forward two, three, not as much range, but still decent. Uh, man, she doesn't have a safe mid wall splat, does she? She has to go mid high, or she has to do a very unsafe mid. This is really it. But at the wall, I mean, it's negative 12, and uh, she's uh, she's ducking, so they can't jab her for it. But at the wall, like, swinging at negative 12 is not something that I'm finna to do, you know what I'm saying? Finna to do. Let's see, Stank, our houses look. It does push her back, so that's cool. This might be your quote-unquote safe mid-wall splat right here. Core circle forward four. Otherwise, she has to go mid-high, duckable stuff. Uh, and then, of course... Yeah, her wall game is kind of weird. It's not great. You can still threaten with this at the wall and get that as a wall combo. Or Maybe this is better, actually. That would also floor break. For better Oki, basically. Not for Anna, but for you, Snake Eater. I wonder if she does the other one. She might get better stuff at the wall. Maybe not. Same shit. I guess if you can do it at the wall, you might as well do the just frame to get more damage. Uh, two tilt than one. Nope. Damn, that sucks. Ah. Uh. Man, I can't. Oh yeah, she does have a safe mid. There you go. So what happens when he blocks this at the wall? Alright, so you're right in their face at negative nine here, so you gotta hold that shit if they block it. Man. This is pretty good at the wall, I think. Right? You can do a uh, searching for counter hit on this. Pressing buttons now. I don't know. I'm not sure what else. This needs counter hit, right? Yeah. It's all highs, man. The mid options are. <laughs> That's weird, man. Oh yeah, this. Nothing guaranteed like that, but you know, if the walls to your left is good shit. I, I think this I think I underappreciate this move. It's just, it's slow, but it moves forward a lot, and it's only negative three on block, so it's not bad. Hmm. Again, good floor break off of that. Up three. 
That is a safe mid also. It's time to start looking at these. She recovers too slow. That's actually weak. Alright. How does this look? Let's see. Nah. Even if you could get something for free, it's very spacing dependent. Oh, speaking of that. Damn it. be a little bit away, right? Sixty-six, better Oki too, because of the flip back. Ugh. Of ideas here. She doesn't have a true delayed hop kick, but it is 25 damage. I forgot about the William sister gimmick. I should be using that a lot more. <laughs> All right, so safe mids, uh, four forward wampus, uh, and full crouch forward one for wall splat. Otherwise, risking those, but you gotta be ready for any whiffs. Because any whiff point is she could blow up pretty hard for wall splat. Right? And if they don't know how to duck mid highs, then you could kind of fuck their shit up. And a lot of sidestep three at the wall is probably good. Man, I just wish she had a fucking mid counter hit tool that wasn't quarter circle forward too. Man. Oh, she does, I guess. Right? But it's not like a juggle starter. I don't like it one bit. Well, it is, but, but you gotta be good. <laughs> just give me a regular stun.
ten, I guess. Any questions? Anybody got any last minute ideas before I call it for Anna? Oh shit, it's my jam. I'm about to have some low main. Upload us to the YouTube later and call it a night. But uh, I'm out of ideas here, guys. So, uh, yeah. Anybody got any questions, Anna or non Anna related? Feel free to ask now, otherwise, I'm gonna call it. Prom, Nelly boy. I think we discovered some pretty cool stuff. Overall, I think Anna is a, a little weak. A little weak, but you could still win with her. And she could still really fuck your shit up. In the hands of, like, a really good player. Who doesn't fuck up their execution, like I do. Who does a better job of punishing reads than I do. In the hands of a really good player, she could be a pain in the fucking ass. Because, like I said, she's a mix-up character. You know what I'm saying? My back dash cancel is no bueno. I gotta get my hands on a fucking hitbox. I wish there was a way for her to get into this easier, too. Like, she should be able to course to go forward and... Like... Yeah, she can't. I... It's this that kills me. This cancel. They really wanted her to, because Chaos Judgment has all his defensive tools built in, they didn't want to give her, like, a cross dash cancel to stand block. They did not want to do that. They were like, if you're going into that stance, you're dedicating it. Like, you know, you have to press. Oh, that's an easy way to go into that. Interesting. See, she can't crouch dash and go into, into crouch. She can't off of her regular crouch dash, see? It's probably the best way to do it, honestly. Oh. Yeah, that, that shit has a bad hitbox. I keep doing that mindlessly. guys do you like playing Josie ever I tried her and uh, really not my style I hate fighting against her you know what you just reminded me that's one thing I wanted to check let's see Anna has a pretty average sidestep let's see how much they nerfed the tracking the reason I don't like fighting her is her tracking is just naturally so fucking good. So it feels to me like, you know, I'm not that great, obviously, on defense. But it really feels like I'm just, I have, I'm forced to flip a coin. Like, I can't do anything, you know. I have, because it has a lot of range. Arch has a lot of range, and you can't really sidestep her stuff. So like, yeah, she's risky, but whatever. See, I don't know if it was like this before, but you still have to step guard like crazy against this character. Otherwise, you have to fully... Oh, my God. Even then, I got hit. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm just getting randomly hit. This is wild. I don't think I delayed it. Yeah, yeah. This down forward two. Tracking is good. It's so fucking annoying. Christ. Man. 
Very, very, very obnoxious. Alright, what was the other thing, uh, before I go? Katamari about to get uh, HD port, right? I'll buy it if it's one and two. If it's just one, that's not enough. That game was a $20 game when it came out. They blew up the OS. That's so lame. Alright. At least that works. At least it's not so tight that I cannot high crush it. I, I was afraid to try this during the match. I kept trying to... The reason I kept getting hit is I kept trying to sidestep it. I was starting to build that into my muscle memory. Before season one, you would be able to sidestep right and duck. And nothing she could do would beat you. But now she has to... She's forced to do this. To deal with uh, stuff like that. Oh, that lost the counter hit launch. Oh, sick. <laughs> Good. Good. I like this. Damn, if I knew this when I fought that guy, I would have stopped this fucking stance dead in its tracks, dude. All I have to do is that to bait this out. All I have to do is that a couple of times, and all of a sudden... Fuck. God damn. Man, that used to be a counter hit launcher. Uh, what did I miss? King has 180 plus moves, and most of King's moves are grabs. Most of King's moves, moveless is grabs. King's uh, poking is very straightforward. Switch stance is very reactable. I mean, I'm not even talking about switch stance. And yes, yeah, switch stance is pretty annoying, but it's the least. Down 4 2, crouch dash 3, down 4, all of that shit tracks. It all tracks. All her buttons that you're gonna fight against, the, you know, the, the buttons you're gonna see in the neutral at least, they all fucking track. Uh, my issue with uh, Swiss Tants is mentally, since I didn't play much Tag 2, and even when I did, I didn't play much against Bruce, uh, or Tekken 6. The down forward force, uh, super plus on block Swiss Tants stuff, my mind registers that as I block the mid poke swing, or I block the mid poke move. It, just, it's, it might as well be me blocking this mentally, something like that. I'm registering in the exact same way. So she does down four four and then bam and I like I do something wrong and I get hit. So that's just my own deficiency, but the, the Swiss stance is not really what I mean when I talk about the coin flip. It's all her buttons in the neutral. They all track really fucking well. Really, really well. And it's just very annoying to deal with. You gotta step guard like crazy against that character. What I will tell you is if you get used to seeing Josie's crouch dash, right? And then you're gonna guess between the low and the mid. If you guess low, do delayed hop kick. Why do I say this? I gotta pick somebody that has a delayed hop kick. Uh, whatever. Where is she now?
She can't juggle you! She cannot juggle you! And if you guess right on the low, you fuck her shit up. This is an old Bruce thing, by the way. I know this, but I, I like I said, I hadn't played that much back then. That was a counter. See? I mean, you could just, like, regular low crush her. It doesn't have to be delayed hot kick, but it's just the most rewarding option. So, yeah, you guys get what, I'm, what I mean here when I say this? You see this? Doesn't matter what timing I use. You have to guess the cross dash mix up. You have to. There's no way to not guess. Unless you interrupt or whatever, you know what I mean. So if you're good at seeing the um, cross dash itself, or reading it, by all means. And even if she were able to convert it, it would be a lot lower damage than if you were to uh, duck block. And you get more reward for duck blocking. Uh, th then duck blocking, sorry. By crushing. I'm just trying to show off even though I'm bad at this. Why is she doing wake up kicks? Yes, that's a block punish. I don't know if his reaches though. I'm not going to be all day doing this. All right, so whatever. You guys get the idea. Thanks for tuning in. So I hope you guys learned some stuff. You know, I know I learned a lot. Anna is uh, kind of mediocre, but fun to play, I think. I think she's fun to play. If you like pressing buttons, by all means. Uh, I think Nina's a little bit better at pressing buttons than Anna. Unfortunately, it's true. I could see when you look through her whole move list as a whole, you could see why wine opener being not death on block is so important to her. And that was such a big change in Tag 2. And they kept that change in this game, shockingly. I didn't think they would. It's so it's so important for wine opener to not be awful on block. And it is. It's very awful on block for her in this game. So, you know. That's the big thing. That's the difference between Anna being kind of bad to kind of good. Right now, in my opinion. Because she has nothing else. She really doesn't. So. Them's the breaks, Anna. I mean, Nelly boy, you gotta get used to it. Really. If uh, Anna Flair is finding you and their primary low poke is wine opener for some reason, then when you block low, you kind of have to partially anticipate that it's wine opener. That's how it is. 
Good people launch that shit fairly often. You're not going to get it every time. I don't think even good, play good players are going to get it every time, you know? You're not going to be, like, randomly in a neutral where, like, a couple of matches into a set and then I, I, like, almost never done wide open and all of a sudden wide opener and you block it. You know? <laughs> you know? It's... You're not... You're probably not going to get it there, right? But, um... What's the new damage on this? Keep forgetting. Is it 50? 51. Jesus. What was the old combo? I think that was the popular old combo. That's a lot more damage. Damn, that's a lot more damage. Shit. Jin got buffs, man. Jin is fucking good. Jin is really good. Jesus Christ. Alright. Savage Sword, down back 2 2 3. Yeah, oh my god, three more damage? That's great. Maybe not off of that. Yeah. Fucking Mashima style moves with a hop kick. Jin is cheap. All right, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Bye, everybody. I'll upload this to the YouTube soon. And next time I pop up, I'll be trying to finish Yakuza. Because next week is Vakara Chronicles 4. I would like to go back to part 1 and finish that and then jump on that. You guys know how I am with that JRPG shit. And uh, remember, no matter what I'm streaming, feel free to jump in and ask Tekken questions. I'll always answer them. If I know the answer. Anyway, have a good night.